okay, this week we're focusing on back and bicep workout. For this first exercise, we're going to be doing a bent over row. A bent over row, you can either use dumbbells or barbell um, or any pads at home that you can use for weight. You're going to get into a parallel position to the ground. Make sure you bend your knees a little bit, not too much or anything, so whatever to help brace yourself. You're going to start in this down position here. And you're going to rope up, make sure you're pulling your elbows to your sides and back behind your back as much as possible. And that's going to be the full range of motion of the bench over row. And for our next exercise, we're going to be doing a resistance band drill. If you have one of those giant resistance bands, all you want to do is hang it under your feet. Well, like a lot of other people, they just have this small little reverse loop. For this, you just want to put it around one leg on the back of your knee and then you're in the back of your knee right there. You're going to take your hand in a super knee position so the hand's going to be facing towards the ceiling when you do this. Elbow's going to be on your knee over here and then you're going to bring it just like a curl, any other normal curl. You're going to feel it at the top. Your resistance band's going to get tougher the more you lift it. All right? Okay, so this version is going to be known as the plank row. It's Similar to a bent over row in a sense, and also a combination of a push up. So, what you're going to do is you want to get into that push up position using dumbbells, preferably, or any sort of weight that you can use and hold on to. And when you're in this position, you're then going to roll up just like a bent over row, making sure you're pulling your elbows in to your side and then on back to your starting position. And moving on to our next dumbbell exercise, it's going to be our hammer throw. Hammer throw, you're going to want to keep a neutral grip on it. So grab it and keep it just straight, like with your entire forearm, no supination, no coordination with it, just a neutral grip. You're going to keep it at your side here, and then what you want to do is you're just going to move your forearm. You're going to keep your upper arm stabilized and just utilize your forearm for this. And that way, it's going to hit the outer part of your bicep, the brachialis under it, and also the radial brachialis. Just like this. Okay, for this next exercise, we're going to be doing a reverse fly. The reverse fly, you can use dumbbells or if you have a machine, use the machine. But if you want, your only choice is dumbbells and everything, what you want to do is you want to get over into kind of a bent position here, keeping that back flat, and still be focusing on your posterior delt here. With it, you're going to want to make sure that you're pulling out and pulling those shoulder blades in to help focus on that posterior delt. And you're pulling out, kind of making an airplane shape. Okay, for this next exercise, we're going to be doing what is known as a Superman. You're not going to get any weight for this or anything, strictly body weight. So you're going to actually start on the floor, stomach facing to the floor, back up. And with this, you get in an extended position, arms are going to be out, legs are going to be out. And when you're doing a Superman, it's kind of like you're flying. You're going to contract, lift all this up, contract in the back, and hold that for about five seconds, and then release. You're going to do that each and every time. All right, so this exercise is going to be known as the lat pull down. It's going to be a variation of kind of your traditional lat pull down, where it's strictly body weight. It's just kind of like in Superman position. You're going to be in that same starting position. You can go ahead and down the floor, stomach's going to be on the floor, arms going to be out, and then flare up. Then you're going to bring your arms and your elbows to the side, pinching that middle part of your back. So your lower traps, your lats, is what you want to pinch. And then you're going to hand to the ground, flat the ground, and push up into a cobra position. And that's going to be one. Back to that starting. Elbows into your side, pinching your back, hands to the ground, and up into the cover position. Alright, and for this final exercise, it's going to be known as the south end curl. With this curl, you're going to be starting as a traditional curl, making sure that your hands are in the symphony position, palms facing up. You're going to keep your elbows to your side, in the middle of your body, not behind that forward, just in that middle part. And when you're bringing it up, you don't want to bring it up, keep it flared out, again, elbows in, and then you're going to switch over to a pronated um, position and then control on the east side, trick down. And 
then you go back to the original start position, up, flip, and down.